Hey guys, this is Super Mega Baseball 2, and I've heard a lot of great things about this game. Some people in my Discord and my live stream chat recommended that I check it out. So I was going to go ahead and uh, play it today for you guys. Let's see it. I played just a tiny bit. We're going to do an exhibition game. This game kind of has like a weird control scheme that takes quite a bit of getting used to based on the button. So like if you push, you know, the Y button, it goes to third base, X is second, and A is first. But depending on how hard you hit, the bu the button is how accurate and how fast your character is going to throw it. And, and honestly, kind of took me a little bit like, like oh, you know, trying to get used to and stuff. I don't know how I feel about it, to be completely honest. I mean, it's not bad. I would have just had wanted a more traditional way of controlling the characters. You know, aiming with the stick and throwing the ball. Like any kind of normal baseball game. But... This is kind of like a cool little cartoony baseball game. You know, the characters all have like weird bodies and big heads. There's even intergender baseball. <laughs> so it's it's all about the equality. I'm pitching right now. Um, as you can see, it kind of has like a an old school retro type of vibe for the pitching. And did he get a home run on pitch one? He got a home run on pitch one or she. He, she, home run on pitch one. Ah, uh, I caramba. So you guys are going to see me get owned. I'm not that good at sports games to begin with. But. Okay, there we go. We got a foul ball. See, it just t it's kind of weird. Like, the fielding just feels really awkward. So now we're going to. So you kind of have to gauge the meter. I, I kind of didn't let go of the button in time. You have to like time it and it goes really really fast so it has an arcade like type of uh gameplay to it oh see my guy didn't even catch the stinking ball <laughs> what a freaking fail here okay it's still a really fun game though this is something that i definitely would want to play with a friend sports games with friends are always a lot of fun as i miss the guy stole the base So, they scored, they scored three on me already. Jesus. I'm failing, guys. I might as well just retire the channel right now. You kind of have to, like... I don't know. I just don't like the way the control is with the buttons and stuff. You have to, like, get the meter full in order to even accurately control the guy and stuff like that. That's just me, though. See? I, I, I just... We'll figure this out. We'll work on this together, guys. Boys and girls. At least I can hit the foul... At least I can make him hit the foul ball. There we go. See? So you kind of got to use the gauge. You see when I push the button? When you push the button and you hold it down, that gauge comes up. And you got to release it at the right time. So it's kind of an awkward game mechanic that I've never seen in a baseball game. Didn't get it there quite in time. Again, I would have prefer preferred a traditional sense of, a, of how a baseball game controls. Where you just kind of like aim and push A. There we go. Let's get this guy out. Got him. About time, man. Thank my lucky stars on that one, right? Oh, that was a ball. There we go. Strike two. Let's get him out. throw the ball into the field at that point. I just want it in the field so I don't have to worry about them scoring again. Oops, forgot to push the wrong button. Oh, thank God. That was all luck right there. Alright, guys, so it's my turn to bat. So you're going to see the batting mechanics now. It seems pretty standard right here. And I guess it kind of auto... Whoa, that was a little close, guy. 
Oh, wow. The computer just coming after blood at that point. Beanballing me. All right, here we go. Oh, barely. Oh, really? Got him. Right down the middle. Let's go. Run. Really? Double play on me? I suck at fucking video games like I do in real life at sports. Maybe I should just let him beanball me again. Here we go. Oh, dang. Nice drive. Right in the middle. That's what I needed right there. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, here we go. Ooh, too late. Right there. Oh, foul ball. So the batting mechanics aren't too bad. They're pretty standard when it comes to to a baseball game. And they got me out. <laughs> but you can see guys, it's it's uh it's very arcade like. It's not as like a sports heavy game as like the show. And he's just literally knocked home runs on me every single time that I've come up to bat. Oh, man, I'm doing so bad. I do think that this is a really good game, though. It's just definitely takes getting used to the fielding mechanics. I don't really like them, but that doesn't mean that it, it's a break. It's, it's game-breaking as he gets another fucking... Maybe I should pitch somewhere else. Maybe not so much in the middle. I mean, I never claim to be an expert at video games. I just talk about them. Here we go. Let's do it right there. See the whole having to aim and see the stupid gauge. Like I would have rather had a traditional, uh, a traditional control of how the gameplay plays. You know, like in RBI Baseball, that didn't have any gimmicks. On, on the switch so I, I you guys get the general idea this was super mega baseball 2 i'm gonna end it there before i further get any killed it's already 9 and 0 thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you on the next one have a great day peace out hey guys what's up it's 8-bit eric and i just wanted to remind you guys that i will be at the southeast game exchange in greenville south carolina rick flair country can i get a woo in the comments guys yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's my first time going to this convention, and I love it because it's up in that dirty, dirty south. So it's going to be August 24th and 25th. It is a two-day con. I'm going to be road tripping up that way with Jay from the Shady Jay Show, and we're going to be joining several other guests here. We got JLove81. We got Riff from Pixel Game Squad. We got NES Addict. We have tons of people. Who do we got? Well, let me fill you in with that info right here so if you want to come out we got ed and new z zata i don't know i don't want to butcher your name but apparently he programmed a lot of apple II games a lot of saturn games genesis games so he's a big wig gaming programmer that's kind of neat maybe i'll bring something for him to sign we got limited run games in the house i'm going to be buying up all those switch games that i missed out on so you better be there or else i'm going to snatch them all up guys we also have um, olivia mears taco bell herself will be at this convention i'm gonna definitely get a photo op with her and then we also have not to mention some other youtubers generation gap gaming we have rock solid productions we have your player two russ lyman holy crap up and coming russ lyman who's been getting all that momentum will be here guys come get him before he gets a gajillion subscribers then we also have not to mention bp power kurt weissman we have distant star cares so there's a lot of guests that will be at this thing but not to mention you know what forget us guests because there's gonna be games here there's gonna be games to buy left and right you're gonna be knee deep in video games and there's gonna be retro and modern video game tournaments tabletop tournaments lots of things to do panels looks like a great time <laughs> so yeah this is southeast game exchange put the link to their website down below again this is the 24th and 25th in greenville south carolina uh i definitely am looking forward to it. it's gonna be great weather it's not gonna be too cold it's not gonna be too hot it's gonna be just right and you know what Maybe we could get a beer afterwards, guys. This is a family-friendly event. 
and I also will be having merch available. The 8-Bit Eric Club will be in full effect, so be sure to pick up a t-shirt, maybe get a, get a picture with me, and let's uh, become friends, because I love meeting each and every single one of you guys. So yeah, looking forward to it. Southeast Game Exchange, the 24th and 25th of August. I will see you there. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.